This is our last episode of the West Tasmania tour. We started our day early as we planned to visit Cradle Mountain, complete the touristic enchanted walk for a couple of hours in the Cradle Mountain National Park and also visit the Russell Falls in the Mountville National Park on our way back to Hobart. It was another long day after traveling for 4 days in Tasmania's west. At the beginning of the day it was sunny and cold on a late December morning. We heard so much about the Iron Blow so we went to visit Iron Blow. The Iron Blow lookout allowed us to look into Tasmania's mining history. Gold was discovered in the hills of the Linda Valley of Tasmania's west coast back in 1883. at this site which is called Iron Blow Today's Iron Blow lookout gives us an bird's eye view of the open cut mine with the stains of mineral deposit on the pit's wall Over mining and copper smelting has stripped the land bare and stained it with mineral deposits to create a haunting but spectacular depth surely gave us vertigo It was so windy We couldn't stand more than few minutes at Iron Blow, so we moved on towards Cradle Mountain National Park. Scenic road to the Cradle Mountain National Park was very pretty. It rained the day before, so there was a lot of surface water on the road. Yet with rising sun and temperature, we could see vapor coming out of the road. Cradle Mountain is a locality and a mountain in the Central Highlands region of Tasmania. The mountain is situated in the Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park. At 1545 meters above the sea level, it is the sixth highest mountain in Tasmania. From our car park, we took a National Park shuttle bus that took us to the viewpoint where you can get the panoramic view of the Cradle Mountain and the famous Dove Lake. Although we didn't study a great deal of Tasmanian history, but we know, and according to Wikipedia, Cradle Mountain sits between the big rivers and the northern Tasmanian Aboriginal nations. Aboriginal Tasmanians were prosecuted by the European settlers upon their arrival and the last free aboriginals in this region were seen just south of Cradle Mountain in 1836. In the 1910s, Gustav and Kate Winderfor climbed Cradle Mountain. They found the land so beautiful and Gustav proclaimed This must be a national park for the people for all time. It is magnificent and people must know about it and enjoy it. They started a campaign to make this whole area a national park. Eventually this area was declared a scenic reserve in 1922, a wildlife reserve in 1927 and designated as a national park from 1947. Soon weather started to run grey, windy, although there were patches of sun, but we had a passing rain and it became very cold very soon. Photo sessions were interrupted, but the surroundings were so picturesque, we couldn't stop taking photos. Next we went for the enchanted walk the short 1 hour easy circuit and walk slowly through the rainforest The walk took us through the button grass moorland 
before entering the cool, temperate rainforest along the edges of Pencil Pine Creek. There were waterfalls, big trees, covered with bright green moss, damp and cold smell of the forest, walking on the wooden walkways. We felt like truly enchanted. It was an experience of a wonderland. Although our old videos were a bit shaky in those days, but please enjoy a short walking experience with us, with some music that we picked to complement the forest ambience. Waterfalls were a mixture of white bubbles and tea-colored water from the creeks nearby. The gorgeous sound of the waterfalls made us truly enchanted. We knew it would be very rushed and a very long day, but the beauty of Tasmania has a lasting effect on your minds, so memory stays longer than the short journey. We hope one day soon we'll make the trip again, to video the whole experience once again, perhaps as we say these days, captured in 4K. We continued our travel to the Mountville National Park to watch the incredible Russell Falls. 100 meters downstream of the Horseshoe Falls, the Russell Falls are situated on the eastern boundary of the Mountville National Park, approximately 70 kilometers northwest of Hobart via the Brooker and Lyle Highways. The falls were first named the Browning's Fall after the original discoverer in 1856, but were known as the Russell Falls since 1884, by which time they were already a popular tourist attraction. In the Mountville National Park, at various times, we did different walking circuits, which varied from one hour to up to five hours of bushwalks. On this particular trip, we did a short route to see just the Russell Falls. It's an easy walk from the car park to the lower carton of the Russell Falls, with upper tires visible at top. The carton created by the falls is just breathtaking. There is no word to describe the view. We wished there was a little less rain on the day, but I guess that was a wishful thinking not to have rain in rainforest.
paths to the upper tier of Russell Falls was an easy uphill walk via stairs and pathways. However, path could be very slippery at times. From the top, we could see the drops of the waterfalls and horseshoe falls. So beautiful, we couldn't decide the best of the all waterfalls that we have seen so far. So in our mind, they were all best. Interestingly, we met a wallaby roaming around for food. That was a great moment to photograph. The Falls Reserve was established in 1885. In 1899, the Russell Falls were selected as one of the eight images to be used on a set of postage stamps aimed at promoting the British colony's growing tourist industry. Looking back now, after a number of years in Tasmania, we think we always had a nice time and a beautiful time in this beautiful state. Please continue to watch our beautiful Tasmania series to explore many more amazing places in this wonderful natural diversity. Hello friends, we are Rituban and Urunima, the diversity travelers. We live in Hobart, capital of the beautiful Australian state Tasmania. Experiencing the diversity of this wonderful world through travel is our passion. Over the last 15 years, during our time in England and Australia, we have traveled to six continents, 40 countries, and over 50 great cities and extraordinary natural wonders. We are creating short videos based on our own recordings to archive our beautiful memories and share with you on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more regular video uploads, share with your friends and families, and enjoy the world's amazing diversity. Thanks for watching our travel videos.